What's up, everybody? Patching here. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, today, I bring you Art Vlog 05454. Uh, this is the drama theater mass props. You ever seen those faces where um, I think it's common in most um, schools of theater teaching, whatever? They got like the comedian mask versus the drama mask. Well, I had uh, a young couple doing a uh, drama teaching camp during the summer and they wanted some props made. Um, so uh, they, you know, they were using it as a, you know, just a theme and whatnot. So um, we found this picture on Shutterstock. Uh, as you can see, you got the dramatic and the comical uh, mask. I took these pictures here. I put them on a photo projector and voila uh, here you go you have your comedian and your dramatic um, I love this project here this was very very uh, awesome I remember this as being one of those projects where everything just flowed right to what I was trying to accomplish now a little bit of a background so this, these two masks are actually made out of two pieces. So here is a piece of the mask, all right? And then there it is on the ribbon. Um, I made these out of two inch foam pink insulation. Um, if I, let's see, if you're looking at this picture, what I did is let's say I took my feet, first piece of foam here. I traced out the outline then I went back in here with a heavy Dremel tool and started Dremeling the best I could to give it a little dimension. Now again, this foam is only two inches thick. So even if you go as deep as an inch, you're, you're creating some heavy, heavy uh, marks in this foam. Like this mouth here was probably roughly at an inch. You can see this here. Um, if you look at this line right here, um, this is a line that's probably a half inch at the at its thickest point and then as it comes out it's like I smoothed it out so you'll see at different angles um, where I obviously gouged it um, uh, again if you're looking at this mask here uh, gouged out the mouth carve a little bit of the chin the eyes carve out the nose now this here I probably went almost an inch deep but what's what what was cool about it is is I didn't go let's say like a direct line or a direct carving out here is like I had to constantly smooth it out and got thinner and thinner now I went back uh, I grabbed another piece of two inch foam and as you can see here uh, I carved out a spot to where this mask would fit in this ribbon piece of foam so carve out a little bit of a uh, of a little section to where this mask can pop in come back trim a lot to get this little ribbon effect again we're talking about probably an inch um, going from this layer to this layer carving out all the little details and the same on this mask so as you're looking at this um, also got a little bit of video of me working on this it's not a whole lot um, but it kind of gives you an idea of of priming, texturing, um, painting it, highlighting it. Uh, there's, you know, when you approach a project like this, there's many ways to approach it. But after looking at, let's say, this kind of concept art or this picture here, I was like, man, I, I wonder how close we could get to it because I love the red ribbon behind the mask. So, um Again, uh, just taking a simple concept, uh, blowing up as big as, as we could get it, and um, voila, I love the way this looked. This was one of my proud projects here. Um, uh, the red, um, mixing a little bit of dark red as I'm painting to where the back ribbon is a little darker than the top, so it gives that real big like dimension feel. 
and really it's only like an inch di difference. So again, this ribbon is, is a two inch foam piece and this mask is a two inch foam piece. So there you go. Um, you got your theater mask. Uh, these were props used up on stage. Um, I love the way this came out again and um, I'm just sharing it with you. If you've got a project and you're trying to accomplish it, let's say for a stage and whatnot, Take your time, do the resource. Um, with foam, foam is very forgiving. Foam is very, um, how can I put this? Um, you can cheat a little bit. And again, let's say, let's say this nose right here. Um, I probably carved out a half an inch and then took some sandpaper and sanded, sanded it out smooth to, cr to create these big dimensions. Um, and you can um, you can do a lot with it. This is this is two inch foam. Uh, usually comes in four by eight sheets. Um, you can get it like at a Home Depot and whatnot. Now I know with the two inch foam you can't always get it in some areas. Some areas you can, but um, voila, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thank you for your time and drama theater mask props. So. Ta -da! There you go. So thank you for your time once again. Be cool, be safe, tie shoes, and always live your passion. Peace.